Murad Fakiki and Musa Yassin are among the growing number of Moroccans finding work on solar energy projects in their country. They both got jobs at this plant in Beni Mathar, which integrates a solar field with natural gas-based power. What I learned here can help me work in any other company because I can tell them that I was involved in the first solar project in Morocco and they will recruit me because people who work in this field are few. According to a New World Bank report, increases in concentrated solar power, or CSP, across the Middle East and North Africa could hold the key to creating even more desperately needed jobs in the region. We just completed uh, a study of the employment potential of CSP manufacturing in the Middle East and North Africa and found uh, that it, it could create more than uh, 80,000 uh, jobs in the, in the region in manufacturing the equipment, which for those countries obviously has huge uh, implications, countries that very much need to see employment uh, creation, and CSP really has that potential. As many as nine CSP plants totaling 1.2 gigawatts along with two transmission projects could be up and running by 2020 in Morocco, Egypt, Tunisia, Algeria and Jordan. Efforts should be made, says the World Bank report, so that citizens in those and other Arab countries have jobs in local factories manufacturing solar industry parts like mirrors, mounting structures and piping. They have steel industries, they have glass industries for the mirrors, they have electric uh, uh, cable industries, so many of the component parts of a CSP plant uh, could be manufactured if there were enough megawatts being put into place to create the demand. The study concludes that if the concentrated solar power market increases rapidly in the Middle East and North Africa, so will the region's job opportunities and wealth. And the world's renewable energy sector will benefit as well from increased competition and lower costs in CSP equipment manufacturing.